shops inside there. The school district of Milton is a special place because of the people who work in the district and the community that supports the district. There's a sense of collaboration and a sense of community in every classroom. There's a sense of collaboration and community with the staff and the principals as well as when they're working in the community and with the community and different events. What I love most uh, about Milton is the fact that we are able to offer our students a large number of opportunities. Oh, I love that the community is supportive of me as a teacher and of our students. Um, my kids go to school happy and they're learning and they're growing and flourishing. There's two spots in the school where it's like you're, there's like a line outside of a space. Almost like cars going through like NASCAR, like you're trying to shoot through the holes. Uh, the corridors are too small in many cases. Uh, students are, are packed in the hallways. Right now, the, the amount of students that we have is applying pressure in all of our buildings. And it's a good challenge to have when we have enrollment increasing. What that does, though, is that takes our usable space and compromises it. So for example, in the elementary schools, we use rooms that were designed as storage as now classrooms. There's no question we are overcrowded. We have dipped into spaces in the building which are not designed for instruction, um, unfortunately. Um, that does limit um, student achievement and student learning um, because of some of the spaces that we've had to tap into. It's not uncommon to come by the middle school and see um, small groups working in the hallway, which obviously brings um, safety and security um, supervision issues uh, throughout the building as well. When kids are elbow to elbow, um, obviously just like adults, you know, kids need to, to move and, and they need to have, have space to um, feel comfortable in the classroom and um, you know a lot of students feel like there's somebody on top of them. <laughs> uh, currently at the middle school we do have some acoustical sound issues as well. It's not too uncommon where we have um, makeshift walls um, in, in spaces that unfortunately they, they were traditionally one space they had to become two spaces. For students to be able to learn, they need to have a, a, a sense of um, safety, a sense of connectedness, a sense of um, competence to be able to take a risk. And when they're overcrowded, they're focused more on um, not feeling maybe quite as safe because their personal space has been um, invaded. The truth is, we've been overcrowded for a little while. Uh, when the last edition was made in 98, 99, uh, we had about 900 students in the high school. We now have over 1,100. In the last two years, I've taken three uh, office spaces or closets and I've turned them into classrooms. We have no more space left for classrooms. We are short in science lab space. We have more students taking science than ever before, but we don't have the space for all the courses we'd like to be able to offer. We have students that end up doing labs in the hallway. We are, we are, we are busting at the seams, li literally. You'll also see overcrowding at lunchtime. At the high school, what happens is you have to have three lunches in order to accommodate the entire student body. But even then, there are kids that are in the hallways, uh, on the floor, eating lunch because we just don't have the physical space to house the population that we currently have in our buildings. If you live two blocks from Milton East and let's say had a student with a disability, that student wouldn't be able to attend school at Milton East because we do have a basement with no elevator. The more kids we have in a classroom, the more difficult it is to get one-on-one -on -one with kids as well. I would say that's one of the big parts of why we need to have more space and more teaching staff hopefully at some point where we can um, attend to the needs of the kids. You know? Well, our goal as a school board is always to provide the best educational opportunities and space necessary to achieve academic success. But I'm one who, if you invest in something, you want to do it right. You know, it always seems expensive at the time, but when you go back 20 or 30 years later, you'll say it was a bargain. This is the right solution because it addresses needs at every building. The capital referendum the majority of the physical building will be a new high school and an addition at East Elementary School and then the conversion at the existing high school to become a middle school. However, by doing the physical building, it allows us to move kids around through a reconfiguration that gives us immediate space available for current programming and future growth 
immediately. And so it's truly a pre-K-12 solution. The solution is, is more affordable than it was a year ago. It's just as comprehensive and it addresses all building levels. Education has got to be the basis and the base and the foundation of every community. And you look at all of us and our public education and it's something that we all had and it, it made us who we are and it was important. And so to think that we can grow this community in the direction that we want it to go and continue to be this positive place without that strong foundation of education is wrong. Uh, I would say that getting out and voting on November 7th is extremely important. As a teacher, we, I know how important it is and I know as a parent with kids in the district, I feel it is so important that we support our kids, we support our schools and we invest in our future because every dollar we put in we will get back twofold. Please vote.